In trigonometry, we have four basic trigonometric identities known as addition and subtraction formulas for sines and cosines. The first one is the sine of a sum of two angles. The next one is the sine of a difference of two angles. Then cosine of a sum of two angles and cosine of a difference of two angles. In this video, I will prove the last trigonometric identity, and this is cosine of alpha minus beta equals cosine of alpha times cosine of beta plus sine of alpha times sine of beta. To prove this identity, first I will draw the unit circle. So here we have the circle, and because we are working with two angles alpha and beta, we will start by drawing angle alpha. I will draw the terminal side of this angle in quadrant 2 and let angle beta be an angle in quadrant 1. And now the point on the unit circle that corresponds to angle alpha has the coordinates cosine of alpha and sine of alpha. And the point that corresponds to angle beta has the coordinates cosine of beta and sine of beta. And now if we connect these two points, we will form a triangle with one vertex at the origin. In the next step, we will take this triangle and we will rotate it about the origin so that this side lies on the positive x-axis. So here we have the rotated triangle and as you see, it has exactly the same dimensions as the original triangle. In this triangle, the coordinates of this point are 1 and 0, and this is because this is the x-axis and the unit circle has the radius 1. Now let's talk about this angle of the new triangle. The measure of this angle will be alpha minus beta. Then this point that corresponds to this angle will have the coordinates cosine of alpha minus beta and sine of alpha minus beta. And now because these two triangles are congruent, we can say that this side of the blue triangle is equal to this side of the green triangle. In other words, the distance between these two points is the same as the distance between these two points. So let's recall the distance formula. The distance between two points x sub 1 y sub 1 and x sub 2 y sub 2 is d equals square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. We will use this formula to write an equation. On the left side of this equation we will use these two points and the distance formula and we will have the square root of cosine of alpha minus beta minus 1 all squared plus sine of alpha minus beta minus 0 all squared. And on the right side I will use these two points and the distance formula. Then we will have the square root of cosine of alpha minus cosine of beta all squared plus sine of alpha minus sine of beta all squared. In the next step I will raise both sides to the second power to eliminate the radicals and I will also remove all these parentheses. And for this we need to use the formula a minus b to the second power equals a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. According to this formula, first we will write cosine squared of alpha minus beta, then we need minus the double product of a and b, and that is minus 2 times cosine of alpha minus beta times 1, and plus 1 squared. In the second parenthesis, because of this 0, we will have sine squared of alpha minus beta. So I will write plus sine squared of alpha minus beta. 
Now on the right side, I will apply this formula and these two parentheses. So we will have cosine squared of alpha minus 2 cosine of alpha cosine of beta plus cosine squared of beta and from the second parenthesis sine squared of alpha minus 2 sine of alpha sine of beta plus sine squared of beta. Now to simplify this equation on each side we need to use the following Pythagorean identity. That is cosine squared of theta plus sine squared of theta equals 1. According to this identity on the left side cosine squared of alpha minus beta plus sine squared of alpha minus beta equals 1. So if the sum of these two expressions equals 1, 1 plus another 1 equals 2. So on the left side now we will have 2 minus 2 cosine of alpha minus beta. Now on the right side according to the same identity cosine squared of alpha plus sine squared of alpha equals 1 and cosine squared of beta plus sine squared of beta is also 1 and 1 plus 1 equals 2. Then we will bring down these two expressions. So we will have 2 minus 2 cosine of alpha cosine of beta minus 2 sine of alpha sine of beta. Now if we subtract 2 from both sides then 2 will cancel and we will also divide both sides by negative 2. Then on the left side negative 2 and negative 2 will cancel and we will have cosine of alpha minus beta and when we divide the right side by negative 2 we will have cosine of alpha cosine of beta plus sine of alpha sine of beta. And we just proved that cosine of alpha minus beta equals cosine of alpha times cosine of beta plus sine of alpha times sine of beta. Thank you for watching.